I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024, and we want to talk about cloud cost optimization. Okay, we kind of understand what that means, but someone who really knows what that means and can talk more about it right now is Jersey Grzywinski, the Senior Director, Software Engineering at Capital One. How are you today? Wonderful, thanks for having me. It's, it's a pleasure, I appreciate you taking the time to help sort of shed some light on this topic as it applies to Capital One, but what are some of the challenges that you see with optimizing costs across these cloud infrastructures? Yeah. I mean, this problem statement really came from the goodness of the cloud, which is federation of infrastructure to every developer. Now you have access to spin up what you need, when you need it, by anyone in the company. Well, that's wonderful, but gone are the days where a central group could control what costs go out the door, and now any person can you know, turn on an instance, spin up cost, maybe it's waste. So the challenge is how do you at scale help developers do the right thing efficiently uh, so they can maximize value for the company but also not waste the, the, the costs, uh, the, the, the dollars around the having wastage and resources in the cloud. So um, our challenge is how to help developers do the right thing but also enable them to deliver features for, for our customers. In your role, how do you tackle that specifically? Ooh, so there's, there's no silver bullet. Uh, we think about it from a culture perspective, a tooling perspective, and uh, what can we do for the developer. So from a culture perspective is, well, how do I incentivize the developer to care about Capital One dollars that they're spending? So how do I provide visibility in what they're spending, what's good spend, what's bad spend? How do I give them context for what they could do better? Uh, and then that translates into different tools I can deliver for them where if they do certain actions, they can still get the outcome they need, but in a much more efficient way. Um, so tying the culture incentives to providing tools to ultimately driving the results for, uh, for the company. I do love conversations like this where we take something that's very complicated and challenging and, and give it sort of that at altitude view. How do you address some of the challenges within your own cloud environments? So um, a few things. Uh, one is we try to do things centrally as much as possible. So if, uh, if we feel comfortable in executing different changes uh, on behalf of other developers, we will do that. That is one thing they no longer have to uh, do themselves and we get the efficiencies of scale. Um, and if we can't do that, we really want to get into the development life cycle as much as possible to help the developer make the right choice at the right time to make it the easiest level of effort to execute versus on the backside trying to get someone to fix something that's been implemented already in production. So uh, the more upfront we can get into the life cycle with insights, actions that they can take, the, the better outcome we normally have. When you come to a conference like this, are you able to interact, uh, obviously, with AWS uh, cloud providers uh, to help better understand what it is you need to accomplish to achieve your goals, but also perhaps deal with companies that may in fact benefit from banking services like your own. It's a really interesting audience that is here at AWS reInvent. Uh, what does your day consist of in terms of trying to hold meetings and manage all that? Yeah, I've been spending a little bit of time with AWS, uh, the service teams which are providing features. Uh, we find that the best efficiencies are the ones that we don't have to worry about, where AWS can solve those uh, for us uh, and ultimately allow us to be successful. So we provide feedback on different situations where uh, features we would like to see and hear from other customers that we meet with, how did you solve that and maybe uh, help uh, AWS uh, hear from all of us to prioritize the things that we're hoping will have the biggest impact for us. Um, but we also kind of get to hear from other vendors that provide uh, different solutions uh, how to be optimized. Uh, and we think about, well, how can we do that in our environment? Is it, is it a partnership with the vendor? Uh, is it something that we could maybe think about internally? Um, so it's really hearing both from uh, vendors that provide solutions, but also the customers that leverage the cloud and, of course, the cloud providers themselves uh, that we love to just be able to uh, problem solve together to hopefully uh, come up with a solution. Well, certainly not new, it definitely barged on the scene here two years ago, the discussion around AI. And I want to talk to you about how cloud co cost optimization is really important in the context of AI and what companies are trying to do with it, not just Gen AI, Agentic AI, but uh, really it's, it's so vast that sometimes it's, it's hard to grasp. Uh, how do you view that particular challenge? 
Well, one is uh, we find that if we can drive efficiencies, you can take dollars that were going to be wasted and you can reinvest them into what is needed to be invested in. AI is one of those great examples where every dollar we can save across the company, we can reinvest that into the, you know, the AI future and features that can be delivered. So that's one angle. Uh, the other angle is how can we help uh, the teams that are building our AI models, our platforms, how can we help them understand the efficiency of the workloads that they're putting together? Uh, the way GPUs operate is very differently from traditional CPUs. Um, and uh, my team right now is really thinking about how do we measure and what telemetry we look at to help inform how efficiently we're using our GPUs in order to influence uh, our, you know, our AI experts to maximize the value, ultimately to drive the results. Uh, AI is not cheap, so uh, the, the more we can drive efficiencies, the, the higher value we can get out of these initiatives. I have to ask you, for you, given that you are working specifically on the software engineering side of things, what is the best part of your job when you're able to uh, effectively tackle some of these challenges? You know, I really like finance. Uh, when I was thinking about what, what am I going to do when I grow up, it was between finance and engineering. So to me, this job is kind of my dream job because uh, it combines my passion for engineering and finance. I just really like the ability to translate something that we build and measure the efficiency, effectiveness of it, because it's really the best scorecard for how well I engineer. Because for me, uh, efficient efficiency is good engineering. Uh, so if I'm able to engineer something really well, um, I, that's the easiest way I can quantify that I did a good job or a poor job. Uh, so I just really like when my team's able to build something and deliver on something, I can measure it based on uh, dollars, uh, and it's just uh, uh, very fulfilling to be able to drive those results. And there certainly is a lot of incredible engineering and also a lot of uh, cost optimization that happens here at AWS reInvent Jersey. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk thank to you, me today. Thank you, it was a pleasure. I'm Steph Strickland, you're watching GeekWire Studios.